George Orwell's Animal House. So <laughs> depressing. <laughs> That's so funny, dude. And oh, then Flounder. So <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a good I'm, I'm familiar with it, but I <laughs> Thanks, big right. brother. May I have another? <laughs> this is the Bill Squire Show. Here, welcome to the Bill Squire Show. I'm Bill Squire, and I'm here with my co-host at Tommy LC and at AJ DeCosmo. You both got an app this week. Yes. Oh, that's pretty special. Very special. And don't forget to check out at Good Meal Jane, the pizza and hamburgers and shrimp and chicken wings that will make people love you more. Can oh, you bring yeah. it to their house? They'll probably love you more. I want to try a burger. I'm actually more of a burger guy than I am pizza guy. Yeah, yeah. those burgers look incredible. Yeah, they do. The, it's, the, if but you, you don't have know, one, right? I've not had one yet. I thought you posted one with the... Uh, the... I just reshared one of their things. Oh. Uh, help uh, spread the word. I have not tried oh. one yet. Uh, but I, I, they look incredible. It's a hamburger that has a Flamin' Hot Cheetos bun, which is just astounding. I love I it. I ate meat. I would have that. That sounds you could good. just eat the bun, right? Maybe mm, if it's a vegan flaming. bun. I don't I, know if that they're probably not vegan. They might be though, because I doubt it's any real food. Mm, it's probably all just maybe. chemicals. <laughs> it could be. But all the ingredients that Good Meal Jane uses, other than the flaming hot Cheetos, top notch ingredients. Oh yeah. Quality ingredients. Great pizza. A great uh, place. So check them out there in a new location on Memphis Avenue in Cleveland. Check out at Good Meal Jane. On uh, Instagram or explorestock.com slash good meal Jane. And the number is AJ? 888 2 pizza 4. 4 oh, pizza 2. Oh, that's 4 pizza 2. 888 4 pizza 2. That's the first time I messed that up. This is the first time you messed it up. Fired. Oh, he's not fired. Well, yeah, I was yes, like, where the f- where, where do you get off? Yeah, where do you get the authority? Tommy Costello. <laughs> mm. Did you just divorce me? Oh no! Or force oh, me to get shit. divorced. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, anyways, <laughs> okay. let's get into this week's episode. A uh, lot of stuff I want to talk about. First of all, my brother was in town. He listens to the podcast, and uh, you know how some people that I've I'm friends with have talked about how one person in particular doesn't like it. Doesn't like me. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah. you don't have to add another person because my brother thinks you're fucking hilarious. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Is there more people that don't like me than your hairdresser? <laughs> Not really. I oh, just okay. Heard. All right. So, so out of the people that have come to you that have said like had uh, have mentioned uh, that me. have had hard opinions on AJ, there's a lot of people that talk about the podcast and they're like AJ, like it's great chemistry, blah blah. blah. But there's been two people. One's like, man, AJ really makes my yeah. butthole tight. He, he, I don't like his jokes. <laughs> That's my uh, hairdresser and uh, hairdresser. <laughs> Hairdresser. Your hairdresser. <laughs> my your stylist. stylist. Yeah. Uh, and then my brother thinks you're fucking hilarious. Well, that's flattering. So, Thank you. what it, does he have to say about right. Tommy? Uh, no comment. He's a married oh, guy. Maybe. <laughs> oh, my God. Maybe he You have me. no idea know. how many times my DMs get I'm filled. I'm so No, wait, look, it's just like, oh, my God. It's just like, tell Tommy I said hi. Yeah. I'm just like, well, so. No, he, he, thinks, he thinks Tommy's very funny. Like, he thinks Tommy's very uh, funny. Uh, but he was more like he's like, and AJ writes for the New Yorker, like that's incredible. Like he's I've he's like he's four. like, and, and to the point where he's like, uh, he's like, and your jokes like they're like on the same level as his. And I'm like, <laughs> I think they're pretty. Like, <laughs> there's some episodes where they're way fucking better. But yeah. what he said, my jokes are better than your jokes. Yeah, basically. Oh my god. <laughs> well, that's super flattering. Yeah, and that's he, your brother. That's he my sh- brother. He needs. He's a lawyer. He's a smart guy. He's, oh like, my god. Good comedy. That's so. fun. Um, yeah, I get a little like reserved when I, people say like, I write for the New Yorker. Mm-hmm. I like to correct them and be like, I've written for. Right. Well, whatever. Because I'm not for. like on You're their You're not staff. Yeah. I'm not staff and I Well, contribute. you've written for. Yeah, yeah you're a contributor. I've written for, yeah. yeah. Um, 
And like I said, I get a little like when people start like talking about the things, I get a little kind of like I don't want to be show offy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I'm I mean, in my that. head, I'm like, yeah, you're yeah, goddamn right. Right. I, <laughs> right. I wrote for the you're New Yorker. I wrote for the New Yorker. I had wrote, an actual written for the New Yorker. I had a very interesting thing happen oh. um, this past week. So my roommate comes home. He's just like, hey, can you do me a favor? I'm like, uh, yeah. And he's never, and you know, like sometimes when people ask you if you could do them a favor, you kind of know whether or not it's going to be a pain in the ass or not. Yeah. My roommates never asked me for a favor. Uh-huh. So I'm kind of like, what is this going to be about? I was like, what's this going to be? So he works at the clinic and a doctor asked him if he can do something for him, but he didn't feel comfortable doing it. Um, he, there's this doctor who is like one course away from passing a test mm-hmm. and he, um, he, it's like for psychology or something, and he needed to interview someone on camera to talk about something that that makes them anxious <laughs> and makes them like nervous and wanted to know if I would go to like this doctor's apartment and like sit with him and talk for an hour and a half. This seems so sketchy. No, it wasn't sketchy. He paid okay. me and everything. Oh, oh that's okay. awesome. Yeah, it was great. It was like awesome. He like paid me. And the thing that like made me Fine, anxious... do his podcast. Be on his doing podcast. That? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck my podcast. Just go be on a doctor's podcast. And, and, and it's so weird that you brought that up because the thing that makes me anxious is, I don't know if you have this, and this is kind of like the first time I ever really thought about this. Yeah. Like, it's hard... When you do something creative, because you don't completely command it. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't have complete control yeah. over the good ideas versus the bad ideas. Oh, absolutely. I completely understand that. Uh, Ooh, boy, that is... Yeah. I've never even heard it put that way, but that is 100% because, like, something I re- relate to. When, 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 you, when you're hitting it, and you know you're hitting you feel like it's writing itself, mm-hmm. almost. You're just kind of piecing it together. And he brought up the the the, the shouts and murmurs New Yorker stuff. Yeah. And I'm just like it terrified. It's weird because I'm in a weird place. Like I'm more nervous about it after they've published me a few times than I am before. Because I look back at my stuff and I'm like, I cannot believe that happened. Th- I'm I'm that same guy. Yeah. Because I don't feel like I had command there. Like if I knew where the good ideas came from, I'd go there more often. You know. What well, I'm that and, and that. So, like a similar thing with like this show or the radio show is like there's bullet points of like what we're gonna do and like we write the jokes and stuff like that. But the funniest stuff is always in the moment stuff. But if someone's like, you got to be funny eight times during this segment, that will like it's it's ruin me. Do. That would ruin me. But if you just go, just be yourself. Then I can, you know, I can take some swings and sometimes yeah. it'll be funny, sometimes it won't. But it, I'm more in the moment than like trying to produce comedy constantly. And people don't get that. I mean, I'm sure maybe like I, the, the good videos that you make, I'm sure like. <laughs> oh, by the way, I watched the one where uh, you uh, watched porn. Yeah. Great video. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for the, the, yeah. the idea. I think that, that's a that's and a nice this one. This is where good ideas come from. <laughs> this is yes, where video, yeah. It no, a, like it terrifies me. It's a think me. tank, you yeah. know? I'm worried. Like I'll, I never will access it again because I know like, because like the fact that I I'm in in a position to where I can consistently pitch Mm -hmm. to these places, like is both humble, like awesome and terrifying because I know how hard people work to get into these places. And I know that every time I get ran, it could be my last time I get ran. And it's that, that thought consumes me like 70% of my day. I mean, because before it was like, they, they ran me. It was like, there was no stakes. Yeah. There was now there's stakes. Now yeah. there's stakes. I was well, just and, like, and that's what becomes a motivating factor, and that's that's kind of what makes it a profession or you know, yeah, a pursuit, and that's that's can be a driving force, but it can also be a little bit crippling because you're like, ah, I don't feel like this is good. Like, so when I first got on the Alan Cox show, I thought like, of course everybody's gonna love me right off the bat, and mostly. I got a lot of negative feedback because people are like, oh, he's too eager to be there and he wants everyone you to like hear. him so much. Aww, and I was like, thing. um, yeah, why wouldn't I be thrilled about this opportunity that I have? You should hear the things your, your hairstylist says to me about you. <laughs> <laughs> you, you should, should hear, hear those things. things. My brother says about I, me. I, I was going to say. <laughs> Instead of you. Um, yeah, no, but like, it, it, it's, it's so uh, scary. Like, I'm just like, it's just the idea that people do freelance work mm-hmm. for a living oh, is so anxiety. Dude, and, and even Ridden. worse was when I was working as a road comedian, 
because I did road comedy stuff for like 10 years almost, about eight years. And when your schedule isn't full, or even just having any Opening. part of your schedule open, you're just like, and that's the week that it all falls apart. Yeah. And like you're like, that's the week where money's not going to be coming in, and then my engine block's going to seize up or some dumb shit, mm. and I'm going to be completely fucked. But it's like, like I was on the road 40 to about around 40 weeks a year just doing stand up mm. and it was like that kind of grind and that like it wears you down so like getting to the point where where I was able to get on the radio and have like a consistent gig and not have to worry about where my money was coming from each week even though like honestly like the first year I was on radio and first year I, I or like the last year I did stand up on the road I made about the same money, but it was just like the anxiety in my life went way the fuck down. Right, because you're a steady stream of income. Yeah, yeah. Um, do you like doing uh, the, the show more, or do you miss being a road comic? Um, I don't really miss being a road comic. Mm. I like. I wish I did comedy more, but that's why I'm starting like a weekly show starting uh, Thursday, October 28th at mm. High and Dry in Cleveland in the Tremont neighborhood. Uh, free show, 8 p.m. But the traveling and the, like, having, like, the rigmarole of it <clears throat> is just not something I miss at yeah. all. And, like, I've done a little bit here and there. Like, I went to Indianapolis a few months ago to get ready for my album recording. And I was like, why am I doing this? <laughs> like, I, doing I, this? I, I was like, I, 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 I'm not trying to be the biggest comic in the world. Like, I like just going up and telling jokes. And kind of with no stakes, where I can say whatever the fuck I want, right. and just kind of let it sit there. And like, if it, it's funny, it's funny. If not, it's not. But I'm not trying to be like, like Phil theaters or anything like that. I right. just want to. do I'd some rather stand-up. do club. Like clubs, that's where stand up is for me. Like in clubs. Like, but but you see, but you haven't done clubs on the road, and club or even like club. Like we're really no 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 no. no you you Hilarious. misunderstand what I'm saying. Like. It's I I like the the club setting more than I think I would like doing stand up in a theater setting. Oh I, yeah, I, yeah, I, 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 I agree with that. But like, but that's like people want to do theaters because there's more money in it. Right. That that's why they want. But to do I that. think I think the art form is designed more so in, for for, for, for a, clubs for an intimate atmosphere. Yeah. I absolutely agree with that. But uh, I mean, it, it is really cool. Like when you're in a three thousand seat theater that's sold out and telling jokes like it's Mm. it's there's not really a feeling like it but i i i've been in clubs that seat 100 people that are sold out with a low ceiling and that the laughter feels about the same because it's it's small it's small and it's like the energy is different because everybody's right there and like they like it just it's booming the one thing because i'm a low energy comic yeah and I, I I write my stuff with the intention of I want to make the room smaller. Yeah. Anyway, I want people to have to f- pay attention, which mm-hmm. is why I like pace things a little slower. Right. And, and I'm kind of like, you got to pay attention. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I like making the room small. You do a good job at that. <laughs> and you. we'll have to get you on uh, High and Dry, October yeah, we'll, 28th, every Thursday. Yeah, we'll figure that out. Um. So, all right. Here's another thing I wanted to do. So, Tom Brady, what do you think of him? Do you know who he is? I know who he is, but I don't really think of him. <laughs> would you Would you want to kiss him? No. No? Mm-mm. All right. Well, he's a pretty attractive guy. Let me see. Okay. Hold on. Let me get uh, Tom Brady. Yeah, you pull him up. So there's what there's what Tom Brady looks like. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. I'm not. Eh. You're not really into that. Ain't my thing. All right. Well, the so I'm he, seeing this girl right now. And she's like Tom Brady, and like it's not that she thinks he's attractive, but she's she likes sports a lot. Mm-hmm. And she's like, "Oh, Tom Brady." And I was like, "Oh, do you know this about Tom Brady? And have you ever seen the video of him giving his son a kiss, oh, kissing his son on the mouth? Yeah, yeah. is it open mouth? Uh, I think I... I'll show you. So here's <laughs> Tom Brady great. and his son. Versus time, there's a scene showing five-time Super Bowl winner Tom Brady getting a massage. Then his 11-year-old son comes in the room and asks him if he can check his fantasy football standings. I'm wondering if I could check my fantasy team. Who do I get? Everything comes Jack. Everything comes with a cost, bud. That was like a pick. The second kiss shared by father and son prompted <laughs> tweets from viewers using words like very disturbing and uncomfortably long. I mean, it was long. 
it's a long kiss for a yeah. dad and his kid. Yeah. M- boy or a girl. That I've, kiss makes yeah. me uncomfortable. I've never kissed Is, my dad on the mouth. How long I did once by accident. How long ago was that? <laughs> that was probably 2018. Okay. So, uh, yeah, let's count the, the one one thousands on that kiss. So it comes yeah, back. Like he made him come oh, back. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. You come back here. Yeah. Young one one thousand, two one thousand, three uh, yeah, almost three one thousand. Like that. Yeah. You come back here and kiss your father yeah. on the mouth like a man. You call that ki- I kiss you homo? <laughs> 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 it's uh yeah, it's pretty uncomfortable. Yeah, that why did he ask him to come back? I I, I don't know. Like I get if he was like kiss on the forehead or something like that, one or like or like a longer <laughs> hug. Was a peck. Yeah, it was just a peck. Give me yeah. lay a wet one on me, son. But like he knew he was being recorded. Yeah, so like, like, like there's nothing nefarious about it. It's just, it's just bizarre. weird. It's just yeah, weird. I don't Are they watch very that. Catholic or something like that. Is I that don't know. Them? No, I don't think no, so. No, I don't think so. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm maybe he might be religious, but he's mm-hmm. not like. Um, yeah, no, that's religious. Tim Tebow. I, yeah, you're he, thinking uh, of. Well, but Tim Tebow's not Catholic. He's just no, super he's religious just super too. Religious. I don't know the difference yeah. of those. So that's yeah. probably just what I mean. Uh, there's a huge difference. <laughs> Tim Tebow is not was good. laughed out of the league. Yeah. Tom Brady's the greatest quarterback of all time. Okay. One of the greatest. One of the greatest American winners of all time. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what was my other thing that I wanted to talk about on the show today? Oh, so uh, did you want to talk about the girl? So last week, yeah, you called me at like one a.m. Yeah, so she was she had just <laughs> left. We stayed up and watched uh, Saturday, Thursday night football and then the Dodgers game. And then she left, and as she was leaving, I left to go get something from uh, CVS because my stomach was a little upset, mm-hmm. and uh, that's why we didn't have sex because I don't want a little bit a little of diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you, have, you have a little diarrhea. I did last week, and I am next to her, and she's in her car smoking. And I like I was like, is this a deal breaker for me? Because I kind of it's kind of a deal breaker for me. But then I was like, I never knew n- noticed that she smoked. Uh, also, I'm not the healthiest guy in the world. I probably smell weird sometimes, <laughs> so I don't. I had to like reassess. So I called AJ. I'm like, ah, I'm freaking out at uh, this uh, smoking thing. Is it just the smell, or what? What is it about the smoking that you don't like? Uh, well, so I used to date girl. I've dated some girls that smoked, and it was just. They would smoke a lot more, and so it was the smell, and then just like the ritual of it, and then okay. like always having to go get cigarettes, and then them mm-hmm. being like, I don't have any money, but they always had cigarettes and that kind of shit. And that's not a situation with her at all. Yeah, so, like, yeah. I feel like I was just overreacting and kind of doing what I do when I'm starting to like someone, being like, Well, let's find some problems. <laughs> and I, I, I think I helped. You did help. You absolutely well, helped. What would you say? What'd you say? I told I was just like, is this that big of a deal? Like, or, or are we being Bill? <laughs> like, is this that big of a deal, or are we? Uh, because there was another thing too that you were. Yeah, I found but out she's kissed, kind of religious too. You've kissed her before. I've kissed her. And I never, never know, noticed. noticed. And that's so, like, that's, to me. Yeah, yeah. I that, and that's why I was like, okay, well, I was making a big deal out of nothing. Yeah. But religious? What? How, religious? How religious is she? Uh, she's not super religious, but it is like a part of her life, mm-hmm. and uh, she is Catholic. And so, like, I have to kind of reconcile that because I think the Catholic Church is a monstrous, terrible <laughs> organization. And she don't gives money to it. Gives yeah. money to it. And, her, like, her kids go to Catholic school. And so, like, is she a listener? I, I think so. So, hi. <laughs> uh, but we talked about this. Like, I, oh, I told you talked her, to yeah, openly. I, we, like, we openly talked about this. Did you tell her I was on her side? Well, we haven't talked about it since... Uh, I talked to you, but I will say AJ was on your side. And again, like it was not something that I was like, I can't ever talk to her again. I was like conflicted about these feelings because I do build things. And I was like, I, and that's why it was nice to have AJ to talk me down. Yeah. I talked you down a little bit. You talked me down a lot. Yeah. No, I'm Because you're like, why are you being such a fucking loser? You get to fuck this hot woman. I know. And that, I know. I'm just like, why would you like, you're, you're overthinking this. I was just like, you're creaming ass. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) All right. That's the shirt we need to make is creaming ass. Yeah. Creaming ass. ass. Um, would you guys buy that? Yes. Yeah. And then and then and then the conversation moved to Tommy. <laughs> Do you remember? Oh, no, and we both agreed. Me. We both agreed that, <laughs> oh. that you're wait, wait, we have to tell her right we have to tell her right now. Okay. So we had this conversation about you and we have decided that uh I've decided, and AJ's decided that you are in the friend zone for us. Oh, so okay. We've... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like how at first 
she's like, yeah, duh. She's like, oh, God. I was like, oh, no, I have to put on an act. <laughs> no, no, out of nowhere, I'm just like, and you know what? Not to change the topic, I really enjoy the platonic nature of mine and Tommy's relationship. And Bill's like, I do, too. <laughs> And I appreciate your guys' friendship, too. Well, it's just like the fact that it's not even platonic, and I don't view her in a sexual light at all. (laughs) And I obviously have viewed you in a sexual light because I watch your videos, but like honestly, the one that I watched that like recently, I didn't watch it and jerk off to it. I was just like, go Tommy. Hey, she did the thing. Yeah, Yeah. so good for her. Uh, so. oh, I love it. That's funny. All right. One last thing before we get into the memes and jokes. Um, so today I, I get my mail almost never. I hate getting my mail. Uh, I just leave it in there because it's all just crap. I do have jury duty, I found out. Oh, I got that. That's exciting. I <laughs> so hope it's I a murder. Tr- it was in Lakewood, so it might be. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> when do but, you have jury duty? Uh, first week in November. But Ooh. I got the summons. September 28th, but I just checked my mail for the first time since September. Wow. So yeah, I, I never like look at my mail. A big old stack of mail. Uh, and the only reason I went down there together is because I got a t shirt uh, delivered from OK Pants, which is uh, like a Frankenstein. Oh, I saw that. Large yeah, it's cool. and it's, uh, he's got t shirts, and this is what I said on uh, Instagram. I said, uh, t shirt design so good you leave them on during sex. <laughs> <laughs> you leave them on during sex. Uh, but I. Uh, while I'm getting my mail, because there's so much of it, I'm trying to like sort through it and see what I can just like toss it and then like finally like, grab it all. Uh, whoopsie was, I'm supposed to carry her when I have her in the lobby, but because there was like so much to carry, I like just was like, yeah, it should be fine. She took a shit behind me <laughs> and I That's didn't awesome. know. <gasps> Did That's you awesome. Did you get in trouble? No, I okay, didn't step in it. But then I, I get to work and I'm at work and I get a call from the, the, the front desk and they're like, hey, Mr. Squire. <laughs> Uh, we just want to let you know that uh, your dog had an accident <laughs> in the lobby. And I was like, what? When? Fantastic. Like, did she get out? And they're like, no, it was while you were getting your mail. We had to review the tape. And uh, oh you were getting God. the mail and your dog uh, snuck a poop behind you. That's hilarious. <laughs> I felt so bad, Aww. though, because then somebody had to clean it up. And she she takes Fermies. Like, she's not. She's not Fermies? Yeah. I've never called my dog shits Fermies. Well, they're Fermies. They don't Fermies get... are softies. I'm yeah. now going to say that forever. Yeah, she, she gets Fermies, so they're easy to clean up, and they don't leave like a lot of residue, <laughs> but uh, it's just like I'm so embarrassed by it, because like that, they, had the, they saw the shit, and they go, well, who left that? So then they had to review the tape, <laughs> and then they catch me getting they're my like, mail, and my dog like, just standing behind me like, hey, I had the shit. You didn't take me out long enough, because like we did like a lap, but she's... Sometimes she just wait. I love the yeah. um the idea of somebody in an office Caring somewhere. Your dad. Yeah. No, not even that, but it's just like, hey, we gotta send the tape to New York. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we gotta like, have this enhance, review. enhance, Ooh, enhance. Oh my gosh. So that looks and like I, um, I, yeah, no fine or anything, but it's just like it it was uh like a mortifying call. That's like getting a call that your kids shit their pants at school. <laughs> that yeah. looks like uh Cleveland comedy legend Bill Squire. <laughs> I did I did get uh, recognized the same, like on my way out, somebody was riding the elevator like, hey, are you Bill from the Alan Cox show? Like, I, I, I've seen you a few times. I was afraid to ask. I'm like, yeah. He's like, I thought you lived in this building. <laughs> Love the show, man. Or hate the show. Hit, right. And then not moments later, whoopsie, shitting on the floor. Shit. Drops a big old poop. Yeah. Trying to get you kicked out of here. Poopy. Mm-hmm. A little firmy. A little firmy. All right. Let me... Uh, segment this off and then we'll we'll get to some memes and some jokes fyi you might have a clip i my gum was here and i was trying to like make it stay and it fell and i was like (laughs) it's in there so you might have a uh, clip of my face just going oh that'd be funny i can (laughs) use that Okay, we are Jesus. ready to so sorry. Try. Fuck is your goddamn. Damn, this is what got this you in the front zone. This is why we won't yeah. fuck you. I know, cause you graceless oaf. <laughs> I am. Oh my, I've never been called an oaf. Well, there's, a a graceless oaf. there's a first oaf. for everything, you fucking bitch. <laughs> All right, well, that's too far. <laughs> Shut that's, up, Bill. That's my friend. <laughs> My friend zone. Hey, friend. she is my platonic friend as well. <laughs> well, that's why we shouldn't call her a bitch. Uh, All right, I'm sorry, Tommy. You should be sorry. Thanks. I I still am laughing my ass off from last week's episode where 
you did that to oh, AJ? A, I'm like, why, and, you fucking and, <laughs> like, why would anybody do that? And you're like, are you mad? <laughs> I'm like, oh, oh uh, yeah. Tommy's a bit on the spectrum. I'm, I'm just a little bit. <laughs> uh, no, I really think I am. I oh, I, yeah. I, I wasn't that joke. Okay. <laughs> I think you are too. Uh, I saw a good graphic, though, about the spectrum, and it's like, it's not like, there, there's so many different aspects yeah, to it. It's like yeah. a wheel. It's like a pie chart. But then there's like sections within the pie chart. Then like it was. Uh, well, I'm not explaining it, it well. Yes, it is a spectrum. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah. <laughs> but it's like spectrums within a pie chart, which it, like mm-hmm. made even more sense. All right. Thanks for so. explaining what a spectrum was to us, Bill. It was on the <laughs> spectrum. It was just. Uh, was well, yeah, time's a fucking autistic. <laughs> <laughs> I think. It, yeah. I get it. I get it. All right. God, uh, why do I suck at this? Okay. Uh, suck at what? Just I keep doing. Because you're on the you spectrum. Did right. You're right. <laughs> you did everything right. Um, okay. Uh, so before we get into Tom memes, AJ and I played each other in fantasy football this week in our league, uh-huh. and I won by like four points. Is that a lot in in that? No, no, it's no, like a really a very close narrow, game. Very narrow. And the the best part is, so with a defense, you get ten a, points you at get the beginning of the game. At the beginning of the game, and okay. then. If they get like a sack or uh, you know interception, it adds to the points. If they get a touchdown, it adds to the points. Or it and takes then, away from the points. No, of the, the defense. No, that adds to the points. Th- those things like the oh the defense defensive gets a touchdown. touchdown. Yeah. Okay. But if they scored points against the defense, then it takes away from those ten points. Okay. Yeah. So like, as the game's going on, I don't have any more players left, but he's slowly getting closer to losing the game until it gets to a point where they like he needed four points to, to win. Yeah. I, and I, I, he ended up getting up. zero points from his defense. Yeah. And this is a defense that scores points. Yeah. And it was pretty awesome. And they're on a bye and I'm gonna lose to Brian this week. Yeah. So that was that was very funny for me. Yeah, I'm not very too thrilled. Uh, all right, so here's Tom memes this week, and this one starts off with a not meme, but yeah. like a this was a porn ad. Yes. So this. What is... website do you go for porn watching? Um, X. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? Just... <laughs> That's fucking ridiculous. I know. Isn't it <laughs> good? Like, it's so funny. I can't even a meme. It's not. It's just a real thing. <laughs> it's a real thing. <laughs> I couldn't get off for a while because I was that's like, what the, is this? That's the funniest fucking thing I've ever seen. Also, oh, do you think they had permission to use Coca-Cola? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. Like, they didn't even, like, like where it. he poured it. Too. Right, yeah. Like, like oh, uh, yeah. So All right, does me- that work? I'm going to try it now. <laughs> Buy some Coke. It's not going to get home. Look at the balls. Mm-hmm. They're so, like... Yeah, shrivelly, but like also not shrivelly. I don't know. They're real tight. Yeah. So, so this is yeah. not a meme, but I was on. I can't remember if it was XNXX mm-hmm. or is X videos. X videos. One spank of those. Bang. Yeah. X that. hamster. I do like spank bang. This I do may too. Have been Porn a, hub. Yeah. This may have spank been bang. You find a lot of too. like videos like full length. Yeah. That aren't like full of ads or anything like yeah. that. Mm-hmm. So I like. I could. Bang. I I could get off during the thumbnail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's me though. That's, that's me. just that's just me. That's me though. So yeah, <laughs> this is a an ad from a porn site. <laughs> this is a weird trick makes any penis increase by three to six inches. So this penis represents the spectrum. <laughs> <laughs> and the veins that's are right. the different versions of Asperger's. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Tommy is right about here. <laughs> and why are you pouring Coca Cola on me? I, I, I'm not doing that. Yeah, you're pulling. You're pouring Coca Cola on yourself, mm. on your mm, mm-hmm. own, on your own big fat cock, your own yeah. veiny penis. Yeah, on the tip. Yeah, too. so yeah, it's like a a penis getting Coke poured all over it. <laughs> I want you guys to tell me what happens. It's it has a video manual. We should have clicked it. And well, that's uh, should you should have clicked it. So, I love yeah. it. It's just like this weird trick. Yeah. <laughs> This weird. It is like, weird. Check out this. It is a weird, it is a weird trick. trick. It's it's not a normal normal trick. trick. I learned this in the mountains <laughs> of uh, Nepal. <laughs> I wonder if somebody like when you click on that, it's just like they get your camera going and watch you try to do this, and they're just having so much fun watching you try to. Like, hey, hey, Bill, Bill I'll check out. I got this weird <laughs> trick. Check this out. <laughs> Who thought of that? Like, what if that was the secret to penis enlargement? Like, just pour just coke pouring coke on, on, coke on your dick, and then it makes like also. 
three making your dick three inches bigger versus six inches is that's a big difference. A huge difference in dick size. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, that's like a, added three inches by, and you don't by know double. You, yeah, <laughs> and you don't know what you're gonna get. Yeah, yeah, you don't know which one you're getting. Well, in terms of length or mm-hmm. width. Does it work with Coke Zero? I, I, I wouldn't think so. <laughs> it's got to have the sugar in it. Yeah. Does it work with Mexican Coke? <laughs> yeah, there's, that's that is regular cane sugar in Mexican Coke. Oh, pre- that's probably where you get the. That's six where inches. you get the six inches. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Good, good point. All right, next one. This is a monkey with a gun, and it says, "I will continue to jump on the bed despite the doctor's orders." <laughs> that's silly. It is silly. Do you like monkeys? Do you think monkeys are cute? Yeah, I think and that one's not. What? <laughs> He's not cute. I mean, he looks angry. He looks very angry. That looks like one of them uh, he Planet, like of, the Planet apes. of the Apes. Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> Caesar. Yeah. Is that his name? <laughs> That's, That's like the, the main oh. guy. The guy yeah. that started it all. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, it says, all other organs working their asses off to keep me alive. In my brain, how about you kill yourself? Mm-hmm. And all the other organs are like, pardon me? What the fuck? <laughs> it's a confused guy with a hat. <laughs> and weird hands. <laughs> yeah, he's in confused Look at that wrist, body language. Too. Yeah. Oh, I like that one. That's pardon pretty me. good. This one is just a naked guy running outside of a pizza hut. I said, this God. is two dicks in the memes. So I know. I'm sorry. It's a lot of been... cock this week. Yeah, it's, yeah. Like, it's like we, we put her in the friend zone, and then she's putting a lot of <laughs> cock to the Tommy, party. Is there something you want I to talk know. to both yeah. me and Bill about? <laughs> No. All right. <laughs> oh, I, didn't like, even know, I didn't even notice the Jesus in the background. Is that Jesus or God? That's Jesus? Yeah, I think that's Jesus. I know you're not a Jesus guy. I know, guy, I'm sorry. I which ruined I know you're not my a Jesus joke guy. contest. <laughs> I know you're not a Jesus guy. Uh, yeah, I know, I know. And that says, God has allowed me to live another day, and I'm about to make it everybody's problem. <laughs> That's awesome. That's Did you hear about funny. this uh, sinning uh, trend? The sinning, sinning TikTok trend? Oh, no. These kids, this? they're just like, we're just going to sin as much as humanly possible so even the devil doesn't want us. <laughs> what? <laughs> and I it's just these kids, kids just sinning. That's hilarious. Like, yeah. what, like what? What kind I, of I sin? don't know. I just read about TikTok it. TikTok is very like, TikTok's a wild strict, place. Yeah. But it's strict, though? It's very strict. I, I They banned one of my videos because... I don't remember what it was. It was, it was stupid, though. And yeah, was... they immediately took down that one that I like replied to with the what was it? Oh, it was um, Mary's. What was it? Was she laughing? Oh, yeah, or yeah. Or she go blah 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 blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's yeah. what it was. Yeah. yeah. Um. Oh yeah, because you know, that was a funny one though. Yeah, like they immediately take my stuff down now. But if I appeal it, some of it comes back that's up. Good. It's just flagged. It's like, mm. come on. Um. Yeah. So TikTok's annoying, but yeah. they also there's what? another trend. There's another trend on TikTok <laughs> where kids are pulling on their hair and they're like uh scalp pop challenge and they'll pull on their hair until their scalp pops and th- what that is is your skin no. getting pulled off your skull no what? yeah Why and it's a really that? not yeah i don't know they're stupid uh, <sighs> this is a type of generation that that happens? Happens? this is like the younger than younger that, than that Th- wait that actually happens i guess if you pull don't do it i, mean, I kind of want to do it want now to do it no because it can co- it can it can get no no like it it's it's your skin ripping off your skull and then it like it can get infected. You can like get like internal bleeding in your head. Like it's not good. Why would they do that? Because it's a challenge. It's a challenge. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like challenges. Yeah, people like challenges. Just live like not on the edge. Just <laughs> just live normal. Live in the middle. Right. Okay. And this is a cat. It says, "I don't want to die." And there's a guy in a well that says, "Yet, yet, you, yet you curious." curious. Yeah. <laughs> curiosity killed the cat. Yeah. It's a really good edited. See, like name. I feel like you, you did the Tom memes a disservice this week by giving us that Coca Cola dip. I'm thing so sorry. Right should have been last. Should have been. It last. absolutely should. Yeah. It should have been the closer. But it wasn't oh, a meme, but yeah, okay. yeah. but it's still so funny. All right, this not, one... I'm not cropped. Yeah, not cropped. <laughs> I'll take care I'm so of it. so good at this. It says, when you sit on the toilet, you connect your butthole up to the large network of connected buttholes. You ever think about that? Uh, yes. Every All waking time? moment. Yeah. Every time you poop? I, I, even when I'm not pooping, oh, okay. I think about that. When you're fucking? I think about it when I'm fucking. Okay. That's hmm. how it comes. It yeah. keeps from coming too fast. It's it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> you can't think about too much. One of my favorite onion headlines of all time is... Um, Delayed uh, ejaculation by thinking about baseball ruined by John Johnny Damon's hot ass. <laughs> That's very funny. Yeah. That's, that was it for my That's memes. it for the That's memes. That's it for my memes. Mm. Oh, good episode. Good memes. 
Uh, yeah, but yeah, definitely start a little strong with the ad. I know, yeah, but, I know. Uh, that's all right. No, that, yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. So it's joke time, and it is AJ's turn to go first. It's my turn to go first. Yes. Let me um, pull up my jokes up here really quickly. Um, shit. My, sorry, my phone. Hey, Rob, do you like this when he, it's dead air? He didn't have his jokes ready? And and my jokes are <laughs> dick this week. Yeah. So, like, the second, like, he... You get, like, some real positive affirmation. I know, I get, like, yeah. positive things from your brother, yeah. and then he, uh, my jokes are going to suck. All right. All right. Um, partial human re- remains believed to belong to Brian Laundry were found earlier today in the Carlton Reserve area where he was believed to be hiding. And personally, I think his body should have been ripped apart by nature before he even met Gabby. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, he must be so mad if he really got to end his life. I don't think I don't. Th- yeah. I don't think he killed himself. You don't think? No, based on the things I heard, they found partial remains. You I think. think he I think. Off a, no, I think okay. nature like I did something to him. You think? I think so because they said they found partial remains yeah. of partial a body. Remains, okay. Something happened in you the woods. Got by an alligator. Maybe he got. That yeah, yeah that's why. I, I, I hope. I think I hope that kind of happened because they said the area where he was found was underwater. Yeah. Oh, okay. I think. I think until an today. Yeah, I think a gator got him. Um, uh, there's also somebody that's like, I hope not. So, somebody, I want to know what happened. Well, I mean, together. I wanna, we're never well, going to know. He's got a, had a journal with him that they recovered, so yeah. we'll see what that. Well, and it's not confirmed that it's him, yeah. or did yeah. they right. confirm no, it? No, I don't they think so. Uh, not not what we. What I mean is, I just hope he didn't get to take his own life. Is, no. I don't. I think hope he it did. was a gator or something. If um, someone yeah. said that, like, yeah, he probably just cut his leg off. So that he could be like, hey, they've found remains, and uh, then he just lives the rest of his life with one leg, but he's free. Right. That yeah. seems easy yeah, to do. Know. That's a dumb thing. I don't think that's That's really happens. stupid, yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, Baker Mayfield will miss his first start as a pro with a torn labrum, causing millions of football fans to Google Baker Mayfield transgender, because they thought a labrum was part of the vagina. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Um, no, I think he's missed starts before. I don't think this is his first start. As he well. had a fifty-one starts in a row. Yeah, but I think. He, oh well. Yeah, I think he missed. He had one 50, before. Maybe one, but uh, I mean, fifty-one in a row. Whatever. No, it it's is. still yeah. impressive. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, he's second for the Browns all time with starts in a row. Uh, oh. Brian Seif is like seventy-nine. Oh, okay. Something like that. May seventy-one. You know, I, I don't think he's the guy. You don't think so? I don't, I don't think Baker's a guy. And I want to be wrong because I like Baker. I like Baker, too. I don't think I, he's the guy. I I don't think... I mean, without... There's so much that's been stacked against him in these some of these games. Well, this yeah, but I mean, like, I look back to the first half of last year, and I'm just like... Well, the second half of last year was great. Well, yeah, but I mean, I just look at the guys that he's supposed to be stacked up against and, like, his contemporaries, and yeah. he's not as good as any of them. No, no, he's not. He's not, and I don't think he's gonna be. And I want to be wrong. Like I'm, I like him. I yeah. want, I want to, I want him to be my quarterback. But, but I again, just don't I, think he I, is. I, 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 I'm not ready to write him off yet. I think I still think he could be the guy. What else do you need to give him? The, he, this is his second year with the same coach. Yeah, but and then he, yeah, and then, then, you know, he, then the offensive line's been ravaged by injuries. I don't, he's been hurt. Like there's a lot of things that have gone against him. I, I don't I don't the the one argument that I I don't get or really want to is the second year with the same coach thing because look at what Justin Herbert's doing. Like two this is the first year with another coach and he's just elite. Justin Herbert's well, elite. Well, Joe I don't Burrow think... second year with the same coach and I could just tell I'd rather have that guy. Okay, well I'm listen yeah. I'd absolutely rather have those guys. I will say that. Yeah. Uh, Baker probably would too, but <laughs> he's being honest. Like those guys are incredible, but it, he's who we have. So well, I'm yeah, yeah I'm rooting for him, so but like, I, I don't just, I don't think he's and I still hurt. think I think there's been a lot against him, and like this is a more dysfunctional franchise than both of those. Like Bengals are fucked up, but they're not as dysfunctional as but the, not the since Browns. Stefanski and Barry have been here for so like a Two year years. and a half. Yeah, but I mean, like they fixed it. But it's not all fixed overnight. But, the, but look at that also, roster. Like, what else do you have to give the guy? You you, you got to have tackles that can stay healthy. Well, yeah, but I, I get it. Injuries happen. But yeah. like I said, I point to like because he things. had a good game against the Chargers. Yeah, no, he had an he had a good game. He, and I, I I'm not saying he's a he's a scrub. Right. I'm just saying I don't think he's the guy. 
I don't think he will ever be. I like, really want to be wrong. I don't think he'd be elite, but I think we can get if if he can get consistent. I think we can win the Super Bowl with him. And I don't know if he can get consistent. Yeah. All right. Well, then that's your argument. All right. Yeah. I just uh, like here's the thing. I hate Brown's Twitter right now because it, it's this argument. Blah blah blah. It's yeah. Like, it's like we, they have to play the games. Like we can speculate all we want. Oh, for sure. But, you but have I mean, to play we, the games. we're, we're like, six games yeah. into this. He's, yeah. He's got this thing. Like th- what what happened in, sh- in, in against Minnesota? Yeah. Unacceptable. Right. His start against Minnesota unacceptable. The start against the Bears, not much better. Granted, that was the the, the thing he got nailed. Mm. I dislocated my shoulder. I know mm. what that feels like. Yeah, it doesn't really. It's not gonna really gonna affect my mechanics on my non throwing shoulder. It might not. Be, and it still pops there's out. Still, like there's, it still pops there's out. There's still every year other factors though that like could like it might not affect your mechanics. But like yeah, that the, there's he's it also, hurts. It still hurts. He's a little more of a head case than he lets on is what I think. Yeah. I think he's a little bit more like in his head, and that's why he's missing the throws in Minnesota. Maybe. Tommy, your thoughts? He needs to drink more water, not Gatorade, and then we're smooth sailing. All right, there you go. Drink yeah. more water, Baker. Yep. From my friend Tommy. Mm-hmm. Friend. Uh, <laughs> Platonic, <laughs> friend. Platonic friend. Platonic friend. All right, friend, what's Tommy? your next joke? Um, California gives new protection to leatherneck sea turtles, and I had no idea they know how to use condoms. <laughs> I, no I don't idea. think they need to either. No, like, I don't think so. Aren't we trying to make more turtles? Yeah. Isn't that, aren't they all endangered? Your job, shit? California. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. All right. We're going to move right next to my one because it's also an uh, animal joke. That'd be great if we were like, I also made a condom joke about leatherneck sea <laughs> turtles. <laughs> that would have been great, but I didn't. Uh, but a pig kidney was successfully transplanted into a human and is functioning. It's the first time this has ever happened. It's a major scientific breakthrough. George Orwell has mixed feelings about the success of this procedure. <laughs> you coming coming on strong with a George Orwell joke. I like it. I like George Orwell themed humor. Yeah, you know. It's, have you ever read Animal House? Mm-mm. Not no, Animal House. Adam, Adam, Adam. <laughs> 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 That's so funny. It's, Animal Farm. Yes, I know what you're talking about, but no, I've never. Uh, Animal, but Animal. George Orwell. Animal. <laughs> George Orwell. Animal. George, George Orwell's Animal House. So <laughs> depressing. That's so funny, dude. And oh, then Flounder. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a good I'm familiar with it, but I Thanks, big right. brother. May I have another? <laughs> That's the dumbest shit. <laughs> big brother, but we had double secret probation. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Oh my god, that just fits so well. It's- <laughs> I remember making 1984 wow. jokes with it, but it's still it's I more well, and that's yeah. all that matters. Oh yeah. my god, that's funny. Oh thanks, fuck! Big, thanks, Big Brother. May I have another? Wow! All right. That's this episode. This episode's titled "Thanks, Big Brother." May I have that's another? So good. <laughs> oh my god! Um, all right, next joke. The Taliban is planning on rewarding families of suicide bombers with money and land so that one day their children could one day blow themselves up to kill infidels. That's what I said. Incentive programs work. Yeah, incentive programs. I like it. <laughs> and that's more than you're getting working for American businesses. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, honestly, it's a better, like, at least they're taking care of their veterans' families. Right. Right, yeah. Except on the street. <laughs> Let's see, that's such a better joke than mine was. It's a tag, you know? It's, it's, that's what the joke segment's about, is getting the discussion going. All right. After getting banned on TikTok for nudity violations, a museum has made an OnlyFans account to post the artwork of the nude human body. This is excellent news for me, as it allows me to enjoy the art without getting in trouble for jerking off in museums. <laughs> 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 Can you imagine like seeing like a nude painting just, or something and being like, sculpture, I just, I yeah. just got it. This is so, oh, it's so hot. <laughs> but, and mostly because you've never even been to that museum. <laughs> That's where we'll cut back in. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's, you did edit yeah. this out. Yeah. Uh, all right, your joke. Um. 
Facebook is planning on changing its name according to a report from The Verge on Tuesday. The rumored name is said to be We're Fucking Down Again. <laughs> I like it. What do, you, what do you think it's really going to be? Oh, I didn't even hear about that. Oh, I'm yeah, like yeah. really out of touch this week. We've, work's been hell. Oh, okay. um, but they're really going to change it? Yeah, that's Why? what I'm saying. He wants a, new, a fresh start. Is that going to make a damn difference? Of course not. Well, Give us a No, he, he, wants, he wants to make it more of a virtual experience, and he's he, they're really going to lean into Oculus with Facebook. Yeah, That should just be a different app, I think. Mm. How about you shut the fuck up, Tom? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey. Uh, Dr. Dre was served with divorce papers at a cemetery while laying his grandmother to rest. The one time Dr. Dre wishes he had been forgotten. Damn. <laughs> uh, you know, those divorce papers, just a bunch of gibberish. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> That's terrible. That's a terrible yeah, place yeah. to process. Yeah. To, yeah. Oh my god, Probably, I don't yeah. like that. I don't like that joke. General, wow. I I like, like, no, I like the joke, the but I didn't good, like the but, nature of it. But that the nature joke. of what like what actually happens is pretty shitty. That yeah. is shitty. That's yeah. terrible. Yeah, it's a, it's not a good divorce. That's terrible. After being after being indicted this past April on child porn charges, D- Josh Dugar is facing 19 years and counting. <laughs> Duggar. But oh, <laughs> shit. I, can I say that joke again so I don't ruin it? No, it's all right. It's, uh, it's fine. But that's really right. funny. Yeah. That Thanks. Really, really gross. Yeah, that is gross. I also didn't like the subject matter for that joke, but funny <laughs> joke. Yeah, thank you. Let's, yeah. All right. Are we flying right through these? Yeah. Because I don't really right. want to talk about a child, a child, child porn. Yeah. All right. Uh, We're not that kind this of This one's show. kind of a, this one's kind of a onion headline. Uh, Fired police officers say that vaccine mandates violate their freedom to plant evidence on innocent people. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking cops! God damn it. Did you dye your hair, Tommy? No. Oh, it looks whiter than usual. Um, I washed it and I straightened it. Normally, oh. normally it's not straight. Right. Mm-hmm. Normally you come in here like a dirty, dirty like a yeah. dirty gypsy. Hence why I'm in the front. When is it like exactly. Are you allowed to say gypsy, or is that like I forbidden? Think yeah, Oops! I think that's no, a forbidden you canceled, word. son. Oops! Yeah. I didn't mean it. I'm leaving that in. <laughs> I'll take out the other joke, but I'm leaving the gypsy slur in. <laughs> Piece the of gypsy shit. Museum? Is that what you were talking about? No. no. <laughs> yeah. <I was> talking... <laughs> <laughs> some of... people, it's the same. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you allowed to say gypsy? What? Uh, Why are you allowed to say? No, you're allowed to say gypsy, yeah, but you shouldn't call them dirty gypsies. I've heard that you're not supposed to say it at all. (laughs) Yeah, Uh, I've heard that. What are you supposed to call them? Like traveling merchants? I I guess. I don't know. I don't know. They just don't refer to people. I didn't mean it. All right. Well, what about that Fleetwood Mac song? Could she not sing that anymore? I mean, sure, sure, sure. I I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it was just a sensitive person I knew. Maybe. Mm. There possible. tends to be some sensitive people out there. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, thank you guys for checking out this episode of the Bill Squire Show. Yeah. Uh, don't forget to check out the Alan Cox Show, which is uh, my job. Uh, it's t- weekdays, 2 to 6.30 p.m. on WMMS in Cleveland, 100.7. Uh, you can listen to it on the iHeartRadio app live, or you can listen to podcasts of the Alan Cox Show, or watch it on YouTube. And then uh, I mentioned the... Stand-up show that I'm doing starting Thursdays in Tremont in Cleveland uh, at High and Dry. That's an 8 p.m. show, and it's free, so come on through to that. Uh, AJ, you got anything you want to... Subscribe to Weekly Humorist. Subscribe to Weekly Humorist, and then Tommy? Sub to my only fans. Sub to or her. Fansly. Either or one. Fansly. Same name, Tommy LC. Uh, at Tommy LC on all those. Yeah. At AJ DeCosmo on Twitter and Instagram. I'm at Bill Squire, and uh, we will see you... Next week. Bye. Except AJ, because I'm not going to edit out that joke after all. <laughs> really? <laughs> of course I'm going to edit uh, it out. <laughs> yeah, we can't. We can't let that go. Yeah. <laughs> this is the Bill Squire Show.